been it since a toddler. I keep dollars on my head. Been a real one is my motto. Hell, my problems I ain't scared. Yo. Welcome back, Pacer Nation and Pacer Station fans everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, today I have a very interesting video. I think it'll get a lot of y'all talking. Uh, just about some stuff I've been seeing go around the internet that I thought was just a rumor, but now apparently, uh, based off what I'm reading, this is true. So, superstar Laker forward Anthony Davis, right? We all know him. He's a superstar in the league, top 10 player in the league. Um, Paul George apparently says the Pacers passed on adding the, the quote unquote best power forward. And this apparently fed into the reason why Paul George decided to leave uh, after 2017 or whatever year that was. I can't specifically remember. But so let's let's just get into this article on hoopshype.com. Shout out hoopshype.com. Uh, shout out Alex Kennedy, the guy who wrote this. Uh, let's get into it. It says Paul George was recently a guest on the Knuckleheads podcast. And he had some interesting things to say about why he demanded a trade from the Indiana Pacers. The Pacers' decision to trade Danny Granger and George Hill frustrated him. Frustrated me too. But George's main issue was that Indiana failed to land a superstar power forward who apparently wanted to join the team. He says, quote unquote, I ain't going to say the name is because I'm going to keep their business private. I'm going to just say it like this. I had at the time the best power forward saying he wanted to come to Indy and team up with me, George explained. They're like, we're a mid-major. He's talking about Indiana. This is what Indiana said in response. We're a mid-major. We're a small market. We can't do it. We're a small market and we can't afford that. I'm like, Paul George is like, the best power forward wants to come play here. Y'all can't make that work. They didn't want to do it. So now I'm pissed because it's like, what am I doing here? You know what I mean? They don't want to win. I've got the best power forward that wants to come play here. Not everybody chooses Indy to come play at, but this dude wanted to come play here. They didn't want to do it. Instead, George said that the Pacers tried to sell him on a different power forward. They call me up, and again, I'm not. I'm going to leave the names out, but now this person that they're talking about signing instead is maybe a top 20 or 25 point guard or power forward, George says. They put him up like, hey, how do you feel about this person? This other person that they were going to sign in free agency was coming off an injury. I didn't feel comfortable with that. After that phone call, I'm like, they don't get it. I call my agent like, man, get me up out of here. They don't want to win. So my take on this whole situation, first and foremost, do I think if Paul George and Anthony Davis were to play in Indiana together, they would have a finals? No, I don't. I believe LeBron still would have had them. And if LeBron didn't, I feel like Golden State um, would not have allowed them to win a, a final championship together if they were to come here. Uh, could they have won it last year, though, actually, when, when Kawhi won it with the Raptors? I think it's very possible. I think Anthony Davis and Paul George together could have beat the Raptors in the Eastern Conference Finals if they would have played them last year, hypothetically, and ultimately beat a injury-riddled Golden State team. I think that that is possible. If They, they could have won it in 2019. That final championship is possible, but I don't think they would have won one by now. Um, how do I feel about Paul George leaving because of this? I totally feel him. I completely understand him. If this is exactly how it happened, now we haven't heard. The, and of course, we won't hear the Pacers side of things, most likely. They're not going to come out and say a response to what Paul George said. But if what Paul George is saying here in his his statement is true, I do not blame him for leaving. I, just because we're a small market in a, in a small place and et cetera, doesn't mean we can't have ma major players here. How else you how how else are we gonna win a championship? You know what I mean. So I, I totally understand why Paul George would want to leave if this was the case, and I, I honestly don't think he's lying. I don't know why he would lie, and I, it would make sense that he would wait this long to say something about it. So that doesn't it doesn't make its way around mainstream media too much. But again, I, I totally understand Paul George if he wanted to leave, and I'm kind of mad at the franchise if we really said no to Anthony Davis wanting to come. That's the thing. Anthony Davis wanted to be a Pacer. It's not like Pacers wanted Anthony Davis and then mutual interest came. If Anthony Davis wanted to be a Pacer and the Pacers did not let it happen, I would have left the exact same way Paul George did. The exact same way. No no different. I would have walked out. I would, I would have hit my agent. I would have said, yo, get me up out of here. But again, I don't think they would have won a finals together. If they were, I think Anthony Davis would, if he stayed on the Pacers, if he came to Indiana and stayed here for years and years at a time and got to a few Eastern Conference finals, maybe finals, uh, led the league, got a couple defensive player of the years along the way or something like that, I think Anthony Davis would have ultimately became the best Pacer in franchise history. His competition would only be Reggie Miller, and I don't think it would be very hard to pass up Reggie, uh, Reggie Miller's legacy in uh, comparatively, comparative, like comparing 
other franchises best player it's not that hard to pass up reggie miller it's hard to pass up a larry bird if you're on the celtics it's hard to pass up a magic johnson or kobe bryant if you're on the lakers it's impossible to, to pass a lebron if you're on the Cavs. but if you're in indiana it's not impossible to pass up reggie miller in the heart of indiana fans but yeah i just wanted to come on here and chop it up but y'all i saw this rumor floating around all week and once i saw this article i, I had known that maybe this really did happen i wanted to hop on here and talk i think it's a very interesting topic and get a lot of y'all's thoughts twirling there's no reason to really think about it now honestly because it didn't happen and paul george is happy with Kawhi right now etc and anthony davis is happy with lebron they're now enemies however it's cool to feel like there was a big superstar in free agency that wanted to come to indiana it feels it feels good it feels good knowing that a guy like anthony davis wanted to come team up with a paul george in indiana hopefully soon when when domas Sabonis really feeds, reaches his full potential and if oladipo stays on t plays to the potential we've all seen him play at before people want to come to indiana again you know it's not a big place for bat for nba com comparatively as i've said comparatively earlier in the video i'm gonna say it again right now because it's a great word to use in this situation comparatively Indiana is not a huge basketball franchise. And the Indiana Pacers are not a huge basketball franchise. And apparently, they didn't want Anthony Davis because of how small of a market they are. However, I would have loved to see it happen. I think they would be a great duo. They would have played great together, led us to multiple Eastern Conference Finals and possibly a final championship uh, last year. The reason I'm saying that is because this would have happened in 2017. A lot of people on here are probably thinking, well, if they went to the conference finals with just Paul George, they would go to the finals and win it with Anthony Davis. But Paul George went to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2013, 2014. That was before Anthony Davis hit his prime. And it was way before this would have happened. A few years before this would have happened, if it were to happen. But it didn't. And Paul George left. He's now a Clipper. Was with the Thunder for a bit. And I still think we won the trade, the Paul George trade. I think Victor Oladipo and Domas Sabonis have proven that they can make up for what Paul George gave us. Even though they're not one superstar, two all-stars, for one all-star, I'll take it any day of the week. So, just want to hop on here and chop it up with y'all, like I say every at the end of every single video. Had a bunch of tongue twisters this video, but I'm not even going to count them. Not even going to keep a counter on this video. Uh, yeah. Drop a comment below, subscribe, follow us at P-A-C-E-R-S-T-A-T-I-O-N on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Pacer Nation, we up. Doses.